The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, we have made a video on complete blood count. We have explained the complete hemogram. What is this test? How it is done? Why it is done? What are the risks? What are the benefits? And what all things we can actually interpret? In short, we have already discussed. Now we are going to discuss what happens in individual results like one thing at a time. So what happens if your red blood cells are in a higher number if you have high red blood cells or if you have a high hemoglobin level or if you have a high hematocrit level what all these three things mean is that you have a lot more number of uh, red blood cells or hemoglobin is a lot more in your body hemoglobin and red blood cells are basically produced in the bone marrow bone marrow is a place where it is produced and there is a hormone called erythropoietin which is produced by the kidney and this hormone basically goes and tells the bone marrow to increase and produce more red blood cells so then this hormone production increases every time you have lack of oxygen when you don't have enough oxygen of uh, going into your blood right if it happens for a long time you have this problem same thing can happen with a person who already has a lung disease or a heart disease and a person who is smoking right so if you have a high number of rbc's high number of hemoglobin and higher hematocrit one reason can be smoking second reason is a actual lung or heart disorder where the oxygen going into the blood is low one more reason for this particular thing to happen is high altitude if you are living at a high altitude their oxygen is little low then there can be kidney diseases in which erythropoietin levels are high your erythropoietin is produced in a more amount yes there are some diseases where erythropoietin is produced in a high amount some kidney diseases where erythropoietin is reduced right so if you have a kidney disease with high erythropoietin production production your red blood cell count will increase hemoglobin count will increase hematocrit will increase and if you are going in a low oxygen saturation place your problems will increase so this is the basic reason then additionally obviously water is the major major part of the blood and water makes the fluids in the blood so if you actually lose water or drink very less water like if you are having diarrhea if you are having excessive sweating if you are taking water pills diuretics for treating high blood pressure or illegally for your weight loss or maybe bodybuilding or something then you might lose a lot of water and you have high rbc's hematocrit and hemoglobin right and there is one more condition which is a genetic condition in which you can have polycythemia vera what is this poly means many cythemia means the cells which is when vera basically means blood so there are many cells in the blood too many cells so polycythemia vera means all the blood cells are increased rbc's wbc's platelets everything is increased so basically it's a bone marrow genetic disorder in which jack2 mutation is seen and such genetic mutations can lead to this polycythemia vera meaning a lot of blood cells are produced what of blood cells are produced and the blood is unable to flow in small blood vessels and you are having a lot of symptoms right so that is also one differential diagnosis so having a high rbc is high hemoglobin high hematocrit can mean all these things so that's why interpretation is needed according to your clinical findings your history or presentation and we find more clues in other tests so we will be discussing what happens if your red blood cells hemoglobin hematocrit is low in the next video stay connected stay healthy